the local music scene here in Calgary is a growing phenomenon that showcases a wide variety of talent that the city has to offer. From underground rap to upbeat pop, there are bands of all kinds. But no one has the sound of the fragments. My name's Chris and I play bass. I'm Innes and I play the drums. I'm David, play guitar and vocals. My name's Natasha and I play keyboards. Fragments are a local Calgary band that formed in 2012 and has made tremendous progress to put the unique sound together that they have as a group. Uh, we started in 2012 um, and with Natasha and a couple other people and then Chris joined in 2013 and Innes in 2014. Um, so we've re released uh, two CDs. Sometimes I call us like indie pop, like slightly askew, um, delightfully weird pop something or other. Not super rock, um, it's not exactly folk or jazz. David likes to joke around that, you know, if you don't like, if you don't like this song, just wait, maybe you like the next one. <laughs> yeah. They're all really different, and that's something I think we strive for as a band, to have every song be either a different style or different tempo, or different feel. Dave Martin got an early start to his music career and played a variety of instruments. I started playing guitar and taking guitar lessons and in high school played in like a classic rock cover band and in high school and university yeah I just started writing songs and playing in some rock bands. Fragments was this was sort of the first band where it was sort of me taking charge a bit I guess because I'd written songs for other bands and kind of played in collaborative bands but this was a bit more of my project I guess. Innes the drummer never considered playing drums until she was forced to at a young age. Fortunately, she fell in love with it and has found a home with the fragments. Uh, I started in, when I was five, I started in piano. And then in grade seven, in grade six and seven, we had to pick a second instrument. So I wanted to play the saxophone, but my teacher said, no, we need a drummer. I didn't start to love it until high school, because then I joined the jazz band, and then uh, in Calgary I joined the West Winds, and that's where I met David, and then they needed a drummer for the fragment. I joined about a year and a half ago. The youngest member of the group, Chris, has been involved with music throughout his life, and found the fragments through the local jazz scene. I started playing music in junior high with the trombone. Grade 8, I joined the uh, jazz band that they set up there. And then when I got to high school, I started playing the bass. I uh, auditioned for the Mount Royal jazz band and got into that. I did the West Winds jazz band, and that's how David um, knew of me. I've been playing with them for about two years now. Nancy, a musical entrepreneur, does not have the same jazz background as the rest of the band, but fits in quite nicely because she can adapt to the fragment sound. I started with piano when I was five as well, and started with a classical background, but I started writing songs when I was about ten. I kind of veered away from the classical in high school, started playing guitar, and now I play a little bit of everything. This band is uh, super fun for me, playing with three people that have a jazz background. It stretches my musical palette. Dave and I um, actually played in a different band together before this, and I guess that's how I met you.
Many would think that putting a group together with such a wide range in ages, at one point spanning four decades, would be hard to manage. But the fragments embraced it and made playing together effortless. Sometimes in bands you're kind of like fighting, you know, someone wants to kind of speed up or slow down. So I think over the past year and a half, that's, that's improved a lot. And just, you know, playing more shows and kind of getting more comfortable being on stage, each, each show is kind of adding to that. I think you can sort of anticipate what people might do. And so sometimes things fit together, even if we're doing a little bit of more like improv. I think we can just read each other a bit better and the spaces are a bit tighter. And also that's like stage experience too, so if something kind of goes awry, we're like, okay, you know, we're, we, can, we can bring it back. It's nice to have this consistent group that you play with, because when you play with other people, you sort of have to learn the person before you can just like forget about that and then start building your music on top of it. But when you know, you know all the people, you can just immediately build off of it. Fragments feel like they gel well together as a group, even though they don't practice as much as regular bands and sometimes have long stretches in between shows because of regular jobs and family life that take up most of their time. Depends. Sometimes it could be uh, once a month, but then other times it could be a stretch where we don't have much lined up. Uh, we've got a couple shows in January, so that's kind of what we're aiming for now. So yeah, it just depends on different schedules, different bands that people are in, and, and how busy everybody is. But we're in a pretty good spot where we're not too busy, like we all have jobs and things like that, so we don't want to get too busy. But if we don't have anything coming up, then it kind of, the momentum can lag a bit. So it's nice to always have something that we're kind of aiming for, like a recording or a, or a show that we always kind of have something we're pushing towards. And hello clown, you gave up your smile today. The Fragments are in the process of releasing their third album, which is set to drop in January. What separates them from most bands is that they can record an album in a small amount of time because of the process Dave has gotten the band used to. It's not as much work as some bands. I gotta say, I love recording with this band. The other band I play with can take up to, you know, three, four years to make an album. There, there seems to be sort of a process that David's got in place now where we learn a bunch of new songs and we get them tight enough that we can pretty much record live off the floor. There aren't a whole bunch of takes. There's like maybe one or two overdubs, but it's pretty much what you would hear at a show. And I really love that sort of record an album in one afternoon or one day. It's, it's, it's pretty refreshing. And uh, yeah, David organizes all that, so it's really, it's quite nice. With the release of their third album in January, the band is in a good place when it comes to the future. With no pressure on them to tour, they like where they find themselves. I don't know, I kind of like the path that we're on, sort of, you know, playing a number of shows in Calgary, once in a while maybe playing at Edmonton. I'm not really anxious to go on tour or anything. I don't think I would really like that. So, yeah, I don't think it would work with our lifestyles too. We're all yeah. really busy and involved with other things, so, um, like we take it seriously, but at the end of the day, it's not what we're doing for our living. January 15th at the Ironwood. Uh, that'll be the CD release for the new CD. Uh, it's called Night Gardening. We're just waiting on a mix <laughs> and to get it mastered. The fragments in the end are the definition of what a local band should be. You can see their closeness on stage, and each one of them feeds off each other to create a glow while they play. From upbeat covers of songs released in 1910 to their biggest hit, Concrete Teeth, the band will have your toes tapping throughout the show. Concrete.